guys and some girls. I got this uh, Recon LED dually fender lights, right? And they say this is for the Dodge 94 to 01 Ram dually fender lens, right? So that's like second generation. Then they have it for third generation as well. Uh, and going up to fourth generation. But the problem you're going to run into is, here it is, and here is the old one. The old one has those two pieces of plastic on the end. Right? And that's what clips in right here. That's what holds it down. So... What these people did was they give you a, a double-sided tape to put on here and want you to just stick it on there because when you it won't hold it there's nothing to hold it in like the the original one so i said all right this is held on by two screws i said let me put take one screw off and see if, if it'll stick enough on one side to hold it but it doesn't i can't take that other one off so it's never gonna be a flat surface for me to put that double-sided tape on. So what do they expect? That the double-sided tape is gonna hold on, it's gonna hold the lens on to the head of the, of the bolts. So now I gotta figure out what the hell to do about this great project I put myself into. You know, they look, they look cool as hell because I have a white truck and I'm having them in black. Let me see. There it goes. It won't stick. All right, brothers. Let me figure this out. So you can have a flat edge to stick the uh, two sided tape, is to take off the bracket which I did, but you're still gonna see, you're still gonna see, if you look, the side of the inside. So it's not gonna look so great. I think all in all, uh, I'm not too happy with this shit. Another great surprise with these things is that they don't tell you you have to hardwire it because the OEM plug, this has two posts and that's the plug. Well, that's not the same setup here. So you have to snip it, snip the wire on the truck and put it together hardwired like that. So that's another thing they don't tell you. I already got my frustration out. And I show you guys two ways you can do it. Either you keep the, the brace, the bracket, however you want to call it, that was holding the OEM side marker lights on. It will look like that. the brackets running it flush like this like I said though you're gonna see the gap there and there you're see the, gap. the only cool thing is it goes in flusher you know with with the uh, with the body looks great too bad it's not long enough to cover the the gaps over here and here you know if you're a nick picker it's gonna bug you until you figure out what else you can do to straighten it out i haven't decided what i'm gonna do yet but 
What do you guys think? Take the bracket off or on? Leave it on. That's on. It shows what it looks like off. So let me know. All right. Remember, this is a free YouTube channel. Subscribe. It helps me to uh, continue this hobby. I'm sharing all my ideas with you guys. All right. Be cool. And final part of the video I'm going to show it to you at night. You know, it's got the three the three LEDs. It doesn't really put out that much light at all. Here's the red one. Same thing. If I put it up close, you can see it has the three LEDs. But, again, I don't know, man. I think I made a poor decision on this one. I don't know if I can live with it. Cause see, that's the red regular. Here's here's the, the regular ones. See how bright they are? Again, this is the one red. Look how bright that is. Well, decision's yours. Of course, these are black based. And for me, it's working with the white paint. That's fine. All right, you decide what you think. Let me know. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Take it easy.